Good morning, class. Ms. Millett here to present today's math lesson. First, let's review from yesterday. We started to multiply two digits by two digits using an area model. So let's look at the problem 25 times 30. 30 is a multiple of 10. 30 is the same as 3 tenths. Okay, that's one unit. Okay, so that 3 tenths is going to be one unit. We put that number onto the side. The number that goes on top is the number that we can break down into place values. We have two area boxes. We have two place values. We have the tens and we have the ones. So 25, we can break 25 down into two tens, which is 20 and five ones. So we break 25 back into expanded form. Now I'm ready to multiply. 30 times 20. We can look at the first digit. 3 times 2, 6. Add our zeros after the 6, which is 2. Don't forget, you have to make sure you add the correct number. So 30 times 20 is 600. And then moving into multiply by the 1s, 30 times 5, 3 times 5, 15. 1, 0 after 5. So 30 times 5 is 150. Add our products together. Make sure you line up your place values nice and neat. And you get 750. Try this problem for review, for review from yesterday in your math journal. 35 times 40. You can pause the video and hit play when you are ready. So I noticed, going over the uh, correct procedure how to solve, 35 times 40. And I notice 40 is a multiple of 10, which equals 4 tenths. So 40 is going to go onto my side. I see that 35 can be broken down into tens and to ones. So that is going to be my top number 30 plus 5. Multiplying, you get 1,200. Make notice I put the I had two zeros I needed to add back because you did the trick way. 40 times 5, which is 4 times 5 is 20. I have one zero I have to add out, so that's 200. Adding my products together, add it mentally or line up your place values. Okay, let's take it a step further. Notice I have the problem 23 times 15 on the board. 23 and 15 both have tens and they have ones. So I know I'm going to have an area model with a tens place and a ones place. But only one number can fit on that top. What am I going to put on this side right here? All right. So, choose which number you want on top because they both have a tens and a ones place. So, I'm going to take this first number here, 23. Break it down into expanded form. So, 20 plus 3. Well, I need to multiply 20 and 3 by 15. So, I'm going to take 15 and break it down into expanded form. So, 15 is made up of... 10 and 5 ones. And I'm just going to come down and draw two more boxes. So I'm going to multiply 10 by 20, 10 by 3. I'm going to multiply 5 by 20 and 5 by 3. Remember, area models help us multiply each place value by what it needs to be multiplied by. So start off with the top row. 10 times 20. 1 times 2 
is two times two zeros, 200. 10 times three, 30. Now I'm ready to multiply five by 20 and five by three. Five times 20 gives me 100. Five times three, 15. Okay, now we're just gonna add all those products together. You can make a list going down, lining up your place values. You can do it that way. You can add mentally. So I'm gonna go across here, 200 plus 30 gives me 230. 100 plus 15 gives me 115. Add those together. I get 345. So 23 times 15 is 345. So here, if you can see that we're just combining how we did when we multiplied a single digit by two digits and when we multiplied a multiple of 10 by two digits. You're just putting them all together now. All right, so let's do a look at the next problem and take it step by step. Pause the video if you need to to have, um, give students more time or give yourself more time. Let's do 65 times 25. Okay, so I'm working with two digit by two digit. I'm going to have a tens place and a ones place. I'm going to have another tens place and a ones place. Again, I notice I have tens and I have one. So you can pick which number you want to go on top or to the side. I'm going to start 65 and put that on top since it's the first number. 60 plus 5. Coming down um, vertically, 25 broken into expanded form is 20 plus 5. Pause and solve. So 20 times 60, you should have gotten 1,200. 20 times 5, 100. Moving down to the 5. 5 times 60 is 300. 5 times 5 is 25. Next step is to add our products together. And you can line up the place values. And add or you can add them mentally to the side remember when you do it mentally you're doing it in your head and you have cause for mistakes as well so 1200 plus 100 is 1300 300 plus 25 is 325 I can add those together quickly I get 1625 In your math journal, solve 44 times 17 by yourself. Remember, you're going to set up using the area model. You can um, pause the video and give time to solve. And now we can check our answers. I'm working with two digits by two digits, so I'm going to make my four square. I'm going to choose 44 to go on top, 40 plus 4, 10 plus 7. Ready to multiply. 10 times 40, 400. 10 times 4, 40. 7 times 40, 280. 
7 times 4, 28. Add together. <laughs> Sorry. 280 plus 28 is the same as 308. Let's add together. 748 is our product. Now you will be given a sheet to work on by yourself. You may work in partners to help. You may rewatch the video to show how if you need to. Thank you, and y'all have a great day. See y'all tomorrow.